Hi, this is Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and we wanted to give you a show and tell of the new iLock License Manager. Now, previously with iLock, if you use iLock, you'll realize that if ever you wanted to do any changes to your iLock account, you had to go online and use a browser. Sometimes the browsers weren't very compatible, and there are all sorts of issues. As of today, iLock now have a desktop iLock License Manager app, and it's pretty straightforward. It allows you a number of things. You can now uh, move iLocks around simply by drag and drop, and it also allows you to switch things like ZDT on from here. So I can look at an iLock, here's an iLock, there's all the iLocks that are on it already and some really cool things I can do. So I can go in straight away and I could go, uh, I'd like to see all of the uh, Mac DSP. I'll get in closer than that, I could get a smack, let's say, and there it is. Then I can go on that license, I can find out all the details either by double clicking or clicking there. It tells me it's an active license. It tells me all the information I need to know. And it also tells me it will work on an iLock 1 there, iLock 2. Now the cool thing as well now is that uh, they will be able to do machine activations if uh, the vendor allows it, which means that you'll be able to download the licenses straight to your machine and not have to rely on keys. To be honest, that's always been possible. It's actually been a vendor choice. But now having activations on your machine will be quite cool. I know some people will prefer that rather than having license keys. This is showing me all my iLocks on the left here that are available for me to, to get to and use uh, even if they're not plugged in, I can look at them. Uh, HD9 there. Let's hide those details again. So here's my main white iLock. The next thing it would do, if we go to show details here, it will show me my iLock details as well, how much space is left on it, which is nice now, how many licenses are on it, uh, whether it's got uh, ZDT on it. And the cool thing is as well, is it's a simply a case of if you want to get rid of something, now you literally pick it up and drag and drop it if you want to move it back to, to your, your actual account. Or you can right mouse click on it now, for example, things like that. You can transfer the license from here. Now the cool thing is as well now is the license transfer fee is capped. Now before it was $25 a pop, now it's capped at $50. So you could send like 100 licenses for $50, so that's very nice as well. Now ZDT also now covers theft. Uh, and loss and it th that means that it, if you lose your eye lock or is if it's stolen and uh, you need to uh, get things sorted then it's going to run the licenses will then run for a maximum of 90 days from the day you lose it if it's like 10 days left to, until the end of your 90 day renewal of those 90 day cycles then after that 10 days then all the licenses will become null and void so if somebody's stolen your eye lock they'll last a maximum of 10 days and that's it um, as I say, pretty straightforward. Uh, this is uh, my actual license up, so it tells me I've got uh, 419 licenses there, uh, what's available, and some of these are things that I can pull down to other iLocks. Uh, it tells me whether an iLock is plugged in by making it uh, grayed out or dark, and uh, all the activations that I've already got, and any unavailable activations as well. So the unavailable are, are, are mostly just demos that I've tried in the past. Now, as you can see, we've got expired dates that are past now. So we can leave those up in the cloud. They don't have to take up space in our iLock. So you can get rid of your demo iLock stuff and put it back in the cloud if you don't want it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you could take anything here, and I could just right mouse click and pop it up in the cloud if I wasn't using it. So there we are, that's your guided tour of the new iLock License Manager. Download it, it's free, and then use it instead of browsers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.